The ocean is filled with amazing creatures, both big Come on! and small. In this video, we'll meet people who had once-in-a-lifetime run-ins with sharks, thousands of spider crabs, and a woman who owes her life to a giant humpback whale. I love you too! There we go! Gary, 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 Gary. This tour boat in Canada got face to face with a curious whale. Insane humpback mugging, Gary. Yeah, I had one of those yesterday. No, no, no. <laughs> Needless to say, they were pretty excited. Paul, come on! Just don't touch them. No, 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 no. I wouldn't touch it. No, holy cow. 22 years, man, I have never had this like this. Look at the barnacles. Oh. She stopped by to say hello and then went on her way. Oh, here comes tail. Tail, tail, tail. Thank you. These divers were cleaning up their local reef when they found an unexpected animal in need of their help. Pulled up a bunch of fishing line and hooks. And while we were out there, we found a nurse shark that needed our help. She was about five and a half, six feet long. Beautiful. She was caught up in some line. The shark couldn't get free. So the divers carefully cut away the fishing line that was holding her captive to the coral. Cut her free. How cool was that? We saved a shark's life today, which is pretty badass. When these guys spotted a mama whale tangled in a huge, heavy fishing net. Hey, we tell them to drop us on top again. They knew they had to spring into action to help her. The net was wrapped around her head. So they held on like a roller coaster and carefully cut away. As it started to get darker, they realized she was diving down too deep. The divers weren't sure it would be possible to finish the job but they didn't give up. As her baby watched, after a few more attempts, the divers were finally able to cut away the last pieces of net. she was free to go home with her baby. What is your recommendation? No more deaths. No more deaths. What you're seeing is not a coral reef. It's actually 
thousands of molting spider crabs. Every year, spider crabs congregate here in Port Phillip Bay in Australia to shed their shells. Molting leaves them vulnerable to predators, so they gather together in this huge pile to protect themselves. This is the ultimate example of safety in numbers. And this underwater photographer was lucky to catch the action. That whale was intent on keeping me away and hiding me. And I didn't know why. This whale seemed to be warning this scientist. He came right for me. He didn't stop. He kept pushing me and I was like, whoa! He had me on his head and he rolled over and I was on his chin and then I was down his pectoral fin and he wouldn't leave me alone. He wouldn't stop. And I was like, what is going on here? And she soon found out why. I was there for 10 and a half minutes and um, then I saw the shark. There's a big, big tiger shark up there. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I went, oh my God, he was protecting me. The whale got me to the boat. He's making sure that I'm okay. Um, man, yeah, the whale. Bad. <laughs> I got to the back of the boat and I was laughing. I was just laughing. But it was sort of a nervous laugh, like I'm, I lived through this. Why did this happen to me? I love you too, I do. I love you. Thanks for watching, Dodos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.